What up, guys? What up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, guys. Welcome to episode... 62. 62 of DNM Drives. We're getting it. What's going on, guys? Let's go, let's go. Okay, so today is Thursday the 15th. 2022. Can you believe that Christmas is next ten, week? Ten days. That is We're ten crazy. days away, guys. Crazy. Anyways, so um, thank you guys for watching our last episode, which was um, about naming our kids the Tongan way. We were talking about um, what a fahu is and yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't watched it, guys, go watch episode... 61 it makes sense it'll make sense uh, but yeah we kind of wanted to get go into a part two of this and talk more talk more about it and we've had we've had some good conversations with people that are that are that are that are outside you know the Tongan culture hey? yeah, yeah. and then we've also spoken to people that are in the Tongan culture like yeah. sister <laughs> and grandmother and grandmother great and it was, grandmother. it was really cool like yeah I think it's uh I think, I think for me, just thinking about it, hey babe, like, it's just like, this is why it's important, you know, to understand the why, why certain cultures do certain things, you know, and I think, I think the biggest, uh, why a lot of cultures, like, you know, why a lot of marriages, because, you know, like when you're marrying someone that's not from your culture and they do things differently, it causes a lot of drama, hey, eh? like, of course, yeah. not just the Tongan culture, but, you know, like Samoan, even like Balai culture, Spanish, everyone has a certain culture and if you don't understand the why It can cause a lot of tension and conflict um, Yeah, between your own family, within your own family and then like between like your in laws and whatnot So um, Yeah, so we were talking to sis And first of all, so um, I think we got the terms wrong in our last video so the term Mehikitanga is given to all the sisters in the family. So for example, um, like your family, right? Like yeah. your mum, like your mum and all her sisters like Mika, Lena, and all that. They are They're all Mehikitangas. Mehikitangas. But your mum being the eldest is the father. Oh so whoever's the oldest sister is whoever's the Whoever's the oldest girl is the father. So question. So, yeah, because you're, like, for example, your dad's family, so, uh, like, your dad is number whatever, like, he's, like, middle child. Yeah. And then, so he's got, oh, no, 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 because he's got all his sisters. Yeah. No, I was just, I was just going to ask, like, what if, like, the boys are all the older ones? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Girls still the fun. Girls still the fun. Okay. No, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, interesting. So... I think what we want to do, guys, is we want to explain, like, how the culture, the Tongan culture, why they do it, right? You know, for those that are married to a Tongan, or, you know, if you want to know more about the Tongan culture. Um, so we'll kind of explain, like, we wanted to kind of explain, like, the, the, the process of, of the Tongan culture and why we do the naming and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So none as a professional, none as a, none as a, mum mate matonga, no longer to Samoa, all right? But it's been interesting, eh? So we had an interesting conversation with my sister. Mm. My sister, bro, she hard out. She hard out, tea gang, eh? Like, you hard out, bro. Tongan culture, and, and we also spoke to my great-grandma. No, your nana. My nana, is it? The, kid, the kid's great-grandma. Yeah, the kid's great-grandma, my nana, yeah. who's still alive, blessed and grateful. Yes. And she also shared a bit of, um, yeah, so what you, sh you know, share about like the the whole part of naming the kids in that. Um, so I just had a moment blank. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, so what did you learn? What did you take away? Um, I think what I took away from uh, well, one thing that one thing that sis had said is that you know usually oh sorry usually um usually it's the girls that like know like the whole family tree yeah. type thing and so like it would make sense for the girl to name the child 
time because you we, there's an importance with names, right? Yeah. 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 Like it's a it's it's your um, it's like your family line. Like when you think about like for example the scriptures, right? Like I'm thinking about Book of Mormon. Like we start off with like Nephi, you know, Lehi and Nephi, and then generations later we then again have Nephi and Lehi in the book of Helaman, you know, and in there, they're like, oh, you know, may you remember, like, your, like, basically your namesake, and, like, yeah. your namesakes, and, like, what they were great at, and what they did, yeah. do you know what I mean, and yeah. so I feel like the Tongan culture with names is very similar to that. Yeah, so you that's, that's mean? one of the biggest reasons, like, guys, yeah. like, we're, you know, and, and, and a lot of cultures do it, like, we yeah. pride ourselves with names. Yeah. Like we're, you know, we're all about family history. We're all about where did you come from? You know, like who, who you, like where are you from? Which village are you from? Yeah. Like, you know, if you're, if you're Tongan, even if you're Samoan, like the oldies always ask, which village are you from? Yeah, where's mum from? Where's, where's mum from? from? Where's dad from? Yeah. Where's your grandma from? Where's your grand? Yeah. So, and, and the whole purpose of that. Because there's all ties, like there's ties from like your name to like where you come from. Yes, and, like, even the village. History, village. You know, so it's like, you could be like, oh yeah, like I'm from here. Like this and yeah, that in the village yeah. and like, you know. So, so the biggest reasons why Tongans like that is because we're very family oriented. Mm. I'm not saying we're only like this, but like the whole concept, yeah, the concept. Is, is culture that is, you know, ancestors. Mm. You know, the importance of remembering our ancestors. The importance of remembering who we come from. You know, mm. if you're, a, if you if you come from the lineage of the Taukafas, you know, where does that go back to, you know? So... Uh, that's definitely one. One of the things that my grandma said, I asked her, I said, Nana, I asked this is my question, I asked my Nana, I said, Nana, why do women, why do women name the kids? You know, why are yeah. women put up on like a pedestal? You know, yeah. like why? And you know what she said? She goes, What she said? She said this, she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes they, they, so she said something, she said along the lines like, the f Fifine Oh yeah, Eiki Mama. Eiki. No, she just said oh, women Eiki. are Eiki. Women are, are, are like gods. Mm. So that's what Eiki means. Yeah, Eiki. Eiki means God. So like the women are Eiki, you know? So yeah. like what do you think about when like when she said that? Like what what comes to mind? Yeah, just like holy, respected, high. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but like they nurture the family, they nurture the kids. Yeah. You know, you think about a, a you think about a family now. You know, like the important role that a mother plays in a family. Like, if anything, they're the heart of the family. You know, yeah. they keep the family together. Not, not, you know, most mostly, right? Like, yeah. so, yeah, and because of that, that's why women are treated with so much respect in the Tong culture because we know the the role and the responsibility they play yeah. in a home. And what did she say? What did she say about Aki Mama? Aki Mama is. No, Aki Mama is the. Is it Aki Mama the, the oldest father? Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, it's a bit hard to say something because we forgot. But um, yeah. But it's so, interesting. So, the so number so, so, so number one, it's the lineage, yeah. remembering the family, which is extremely important right now. Like. Look at us, like at my generation, like we've moved, my parents moved from Tonga here, you know. Okay. So for us, how do we stay connected with our ancestors? With, yeah. With, with how family? do we not get lost in like the Western world? Yeah. You know? And I think names is one Name, of those oh, things. Oh, crucial. One of yeah, just one of those things for myself personally. Yeah, and then and then, and then number two, like you know, definitely esteemed women are esteemed a lot. The the they show the importance of women in the culture like because the women are the heart of the family which is pretty cool right yeah that's really cool isn't it yeah it's acknowledging like a woman's role yeah and the importance the, the importance the importance yeah. so so uh, it's like the privilege you give to them yeah. the privilege that 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 a, that a fahu has to name the, the children is is, 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 is is you know it's that's because it's such a sacred thing, yeah. it's given to a sacred person in your family who's your sister mm. to, you know, have that, um, yeah, that 
to the name. Yeah. Um, so another thing that came to mind, so I was talking, this is a little off topic, but it kind of relates. So um, I was talking with your cousin when she was here and we were talking about like the gula, like the tonge, uh stuff that you give out, right? So like mm. the ngatos and you know, monos like blankets and baskets and things. And, um, so we are just talking about that and um, like being on the receiving end um, of that. And what she was saying was um, in the Tongan culture, you don't receive to keep, you receive to give. And so what happens is when you have that mentality, when you're not like, um, what's the word in Tongan? You know, when you're like, yeah, you know, when you're not like that and you're just like... Koripot. In Tagalog it's Koripot. <laughs> Koripot <laughs> means you're cheap. <laughs> means you're don't stingy, be tight. Stingy. Koripot. <laughs> yeah, well, like when you're like. We still call the Americans on them from the mission. Why? The Americans, Koripot. Because then they never nima, uh, what's it, uh, nima, what's it, nima, like loose ends. Uh, yeah. You know, when you go and buy, like if you buy a drink, mm. like because you know, with your companion, you buy a drink, you buy your companion a drink, you yeah. know? But oh, the, the Americans, just they just buy themselves a drink. That's it. Besides the Americans. You know, so we used to call them Cody Paul. You know? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> don't be like that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what she was saying, like, um, you know, when you receive things. In my home more, Yeah, you don't, like, like, you don't receive to keep, you receive to give. And so when you do that, there's just this never ending cycle of giving. You just give, 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 give. And so, something that like in the conversations that we were having about names is that what happens is is like yes like your husband's sister may have that uh, privilege of naming like your children but then you also would have that same privilege of doing it for someone else yeah. uh, like for your um, sorry for your brothers and so it's like this circle Obviously, like it's different, like if you're half or whatever, but yeah, but in but, the, in but the, in the, in the, in the, in the Tongan, culture, if you're in the culture, yeah. it's like you're gonna marry a Tongan anyway, so like, it, yeah, like you said, yeah. like I give it to my husband's sister to name, yeah. but I'm gonna have that privilege for my brothers, yeah, yeah, so it goes around, yeah, it goes yeah. around, so but hey, but I, that's that's yeah, so I feel like that's how the Tongan culture is in yeah. general, it's a very it's, it, it shouldn't be a thing where it's like. I'm better than you, you know, it's not a thing where, look, you know, obviously, look, obviously, you know, people are not perfect, you know, not all Tongans are perfect and, you know what I mean, like, you know, I know there's a lot of drama out there with, you know, Tongan culture and, uh, you know, shh, the Fahu did this, the Fahu did that, oh, yeah. you know, like, yeah, but that's just dependent on that's the dependent, person, yeah, that's just, that's oh, just person. Shippers? We nearly got into an accident, guys. Yeah, so I think I think like, yeah, don't like, yeah, just because, just because someone did something wrong, like a one percent, half a percent of someone done something wrong, doesn't mean all Tongans are bad. You know what I mean? Well, I think that's just like, for so, example, like religion. Yeah, but like religion. Everyone's like, religion's bad. Like religion's really bad. Like, it's just dependent. On it's just dependent on like, yeah, maybe that's you've just true. come across people that have just. You know? They don't practice what yeah. they it's like Mac or McDonald's is bad. That Ma oh, all Maccas is bad, right? And maybe you just had a bad experience with one McDonald's drive thru <laughs> Actually all, all all Maccas drive thru is not bad. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite, I'm a hypocrite, guys. Yeah, anyways. Anyways, you, you get what we're trying yeah. to say, guys. Anyway, right? so that so we're just talking about like the culture in general and how it um ugh, yeah, like I think that's to me I'm not like a I how think it's I think it's beautiful. Yeah, you know, you know, oh, the movie that comes to mind, babe. What? Um, Coco. Oh, Mama Coco. Mama Coco. <laughs> right? No, but if you watch that movie, guys, oh. Mama Coco movie, right? What is the whole concept of it? Like, what's the whole concept? What's the concept? Do you know what? I actually haven't watched that movie properly, properly. I haven't oh. sat down and watched the movie. I, guys, I know that. So, it's what's the movie called? Um, Coco. No. Coco. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Um, what's no. it called? Coco. Yeah, Coco. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that exactly, guys. Like, 
So what they do is they celebrate well, once a year. <coughs> they have pictures of their ancestors, mm -hmm. and that's their way of staying connected with their ancestors. Yeah. You know, staying yeah. connected and remembering. So for him, he was trying to remember his grandpa. He was trying to keep that memory oh, yeah. where everyone right. else, everyone else was trying to get rid of him, that yeah. memory, right? So for him, he wanted to bring that, and he ended up doing that at the end, guys. So, like, I think it's beautiful, like, my children, like, my kids, mm. you know, yeah, so for I want to teach them the, the Tongan culture. Yeah, so, for example, our oldest, um, she's going to be 12 this year, and Plus, Seal was the uh, was the first grandchild. Yeah, first grandchild. So family, there was a lot in my of my family. So and in mine. Oh, your family too? Yeah, yeah. Babe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just so many babies now. So many babies. So yeah. So um, yeah. So obviously, like there was, yeah, a, there was lot a lot of, of hype. There's yeah. a lot of hype. Yeah, we were the first ones to get married. Mary. Yeah, I was. No, I was the first one to get married in my family. So yeah, first wedding. Too. Was it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry. Guy. Guys, I'm the oldest in my family. Yeah, so, yeah, we were the first ones. So we're the first to get married, married. and both so there's all that hype. Oh, they're getting married. First wedding in the yeah, family. Yeah, and yeah, and then obviously like we had the, the first, first kid. Yeah. Kid. Um, so there's a lot of hype, and then plus we didn't know like the gender was a surprise. So we didn't really talk about names, and then you came to me this one time, and you're like, oh, like is it right, sister's name's baby? And I'm like, yeah. So how like all right? So on the I still remember we're at the Lupa Hospital. And, and then, when did we tell Seal? No, I think we. I think I told her already. I think I may have just told her, like. But it no, was. No, it wasn't. It was after you told me. You asked me. Well, anyways, all I remember. Oh, I'm that labor. We all remember that labor, babe. Yeah. Oh, yes. do you remember that labor? Yes. Yeah, but um. Oh, yeah, but was, for me, like. That was in long, the, eh? Yeah. That was like 15 hours. Yeah, that was all day. Like six to like eight at night. No. Yeah. She was born in the morning. Oh my gosh. Wrong baby. Wrong baby. I think that That's was Lolo. <laughs> no, I remember. All I remember no, is Lola when, when, when Sue was born, everyone was outside. Yeah, everyone was there. Yeah, they were outside the thing. Yeah, literally outside. So exciting. Um. Yeah. So in our last episode, I share how, like, for me growing up. I always knew that um, if I married a Tongan, that that would always that that would be an expectation that the sister would like whoever I married, like his sister would name our first child. And so yeah, that was always an expectation. So when we had Sil baby, I'm like, I'd already expected that. So I didn't think of, and this was one of the questions um, that we got asked anonymously was, what would I have named? So baby if um, she wasn't named by her father mm. and I don't know I don't know I actually don't know what I would have yeah, named I her think because my mind was already set on yeah. do you know what I mean so it's like you don't even give it's yourself not like a Cinderella or something yeah so um, what about what about Nasha uh, no so um, yeah so that was so when Sil came in so when Sis came in I remember so yeah, she so, came so, in no, so I, I asked you and then what and then we told sis. And Did then, I tell sis or you told sis? Uh, I think we both told her. Yeah, and then she went and they came back. Yeah. Yeah. I think we told her like 
at no, the, at the hospital. hospital. Yeah. Yeah, we told her at the hospital she was kind of taken back. Yeah, and then and then because then she went, and then you then know, yeah, and then she came back. She came back with my mum. No, no, no. She came. No, she didn't. She left and then because everyone was with us, and then she came back and then it was like all the girls I remember it was like Mez, Justine, like it was all the girls on your side, and we were sitting there. And then you asked her, oh sis, what's baby's name? And then she kind of like, I think she kind of went awkward because everyone was there. And then you asked everyone to like, give us a moment. And then everyone left and it was just us and Seal. Bro, I, don't, I don't even not remember. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it was must just have us. A, must have not been a special moment. Aww. All I remember was my back was hurting from the labor. <laughs> But I was in labor with Nana. That's all I remember. <laughs> just my back. I was so. F I was a bigger uh, too. I was like. No, uh, you weren't. Yes, I was. You weren't. I, weren't? I wasn't. No. Oh, too many babies, bro. Right. Too many babies. Too many labors, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when Sil came, and then you asked like the girls, like, "Oh, can you like um, just give us a moment?" Oh, really? Yeah. It's so cool. And then all the girls left, and then it was just us, and then just Sil was like. I was here, you were, oh no, you Where were here. Where was my mum? I think she was outside, I don't know. She nah, wasn't there, she, or maybe no, she... No, I remember she came no, in with mum. No, she did not. Okay. Oh, I don't remember, Still so correct us if you're watching this, but no, she didn't. I don't remember. Well, all I remember is Seal. Maybe that's all I remember, but I just remember Seal. And I remember, like, she was, like, kind of looking down, and then she goes, oh, um, we're still on M1? Yeah. And then she goes, um... Oh, oh. Babe, I just killed your... Uh, I mean, better, better anticipation. Yeah. Then she said, um, yeah, baby's name is Seal Mariana Dalgafa. Really? Yeah. So who was in there? Me, you, and her? Me, you, her, and Seal, baby. Oh, and so I'm like can you wish me you and Sue and who else? <laughs> Sue baby, so of baby, course. Baby, of course. <laughs> ah. So my tongue is so cool. I'm emotional because it's her birthday soon. So yeah, and it was funny because I already knew that Sue would Did name. You? Yeah, I already knew that Sue would name baby after herself. To be honest, I didn't. I don't even think that I even thought about that. I, typical guy, hey, yeah, maybe. You're a yeah, typical guy. No, but uh, like we're still, bro, we're still like just gonna marry, G. Yeah. We had a new, we had a baby for our one year. So you, so you, so all right. So, Seal came out. She said that. Yeah. And then what was you? What was your thoughts? Ew. No. <laughs> this guy. No, I no, I. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me just, let me say, oh let, wait, 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 let me just say this, guys, right? So, my sister, so, so, baby is named after my sister. Talk about genealogy, right? My sister. No, wait. Don't, let me tell my story first, then oh, you okay. can tell that. Okay. Because I don't know what you're going to say. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so I knew that Seal was going to name baby after her. Mm. And the reason why I kind of, like, knew is that's what always kind of happens like yeah. what tends to happen that I've seen with like my circle of friends like growing up with, with my friends at church is that they name like the you know the first kid like after themselves so I knew that and then because your cousin was leaving on her mission like literally like that week after but did Sue ever talk to you about names no because we had never no uh she could, she would Oh, she would have, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. No, I know she still probably would have been like, that bit like just, you know, like just fishing. Yeah, I don't remember. But I just, um, yeah, like I knew she was going to name her after herself. Um, and then I was just thinking, I was like, oh, like I would, I just, like I, yeah, like your cousin Meliana was going on her mission. Um, yeah, like I was close with Melana, but I liked her name. Like I liked her name. Like I liked her 
name, like her Balagi name, which is Mariana. And yeah, and then Seal said Seal Mariana. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, and so yeah, so that next week, um, your cousin Mariana or Mariana um, left, left on her mission. Left on her mission, yeah. and so it was very special. Um, and it was special to me because, you know, we've both served uh, missions. Mm. Um, and so that was very, like, sentimental to me. And I'm a very, like, sentimental. It'll always be, like, a remembrance. Yeah, and it's a, and I'm, like, sentimental like that. So I loved it. So what Guinea is going to share, because I really know, is that... So, so Baby is named after her auntie, her father, which is Seal. And Seal is named after... So Seal, my sister... Who would have been named by her father, mm. who's my dad's sister, mm. was named after who? Your grandma, your your paternal grandma. My, so your dad's uh, your dad's mum. My dad's mum. So my grandma, so Seal, my sister, is named after my grandma. Mm. So my 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 father, mm. my father, who's my dad's sister, named my sister, and would have named and named her after the after my, after the mum. Which is beautiful because... And then my brother, who's the oldest boy, who the father, they would have, and because of the Tongan, Tongan way, if you're, if you're the oldest boy, your son is named after the dad. So yeah. my dad's, so my older brother named Viliami is named after my grandpa. Yeah. How cool is that, guys? Yeah. Genealogy? You want family history, guys? Marry a Tongan. <laughs> <laughs> But it's beautiful, it's beautiful because um, your grandmother passed away. Yeah, that's right. And so like... So, so babe, Seal, yeah, passed away when my dad was like five. Yeah, six. so it's a beautiful, like it's beautiful because the name, you know, because what happens is, is you're like, Seal, Seal baby, like, you know, and you're not just thinking about like it's seal a it's a connection. you're talking you're thinking about like auntie seal and then you're talking about grandma seal you know so it's like they're always and like, i, I see it guys like i see it like my dad i see how my dad not that he has favorites but the way he embraces my, my daughter like seal it's different because it's like he sees um, his mum his mum yeah because you always say it right like you yeah. always say seal and so like you keep the memory of like your past ones yeah. in mind all the time um so yeah so it's it's for me personally like i find it very beautiful like uh but yeah you know not everyone practices it and you know, that's fine each to their own but that's our experience with but then, well, then we, look, we do get it guys the dynamics of families are different and things yeah. like that so it might not be the same as us, but yeah. So I got. So this, I just I... want to say I like to thank my wife. Huh. I like to thank Nasha. Now, honestly, I like to thank her for being open to it. You know, because you know to marry someone outside the culture, it, it's not easy. So I'm I'm grateful for my wife for being open to it. You know, so. Mother, you're welcome. Oh, I think I went on the wrong one. Oh, you're like she cuts. All right. So if I don't um, have to configure it up. Okay. 